Hey guys, Mrs. Gatch here. Today I'm going to show you how you can use the pen tool in Pages to create a flat icon character in yourself based on a picture. So here I'm going to open up with a blank document and I have a photo here that I'm going to use in order to draw my shape, uh, shapes over. So when you bring in your picture, go ahead, get it sized as you want. I mean, obviously bigger is going to make it easier. And I'm just going to be over tracing over my face and I actually might do my sweater as well. So when you're doing um, a kind, kind of flat icon of yourself or in general, the best way to do it is to start off kind of with the largest part and then you move um, with the small details. So I'm gonna first draw my face, I'll do my neck, I'll do my hair. Uh, I'm not gonna worry too much about my shirt, but then I'll show you how you can take uh, pictures of the colors on your skin in order to match what you have. So the pen tool, you can find it where it has shape. And I think the pen tool is a great, it's actually very easy to use in pages more than you would use in Illustrator or Photoshop. So an easy way to use it is you can just draw kind of an imperfect line around your face. It does have the capacity to like curve if you want it, if you know how to do that kind of Bezier style. But this is very, very simple because you always wanna make sure you close your shape. And if you see right here, when you close your shape next to the pen comes a little circle, meaning that your shape is incomplete. Right now we can see I have a lot of sharp lines. Well, that's not exactly what my face is. But if you start noticing, then these little dots come up where you can then take those points and you can curve them to exactly what you would want them to be. So here I had done a bit of curving already but now I'm just gonna adjust here. Now you can see my line is black and it makes it kind of hard to see because I have dark hair. If you ever wanted to change your line color, you can just pop over here and just pick like a bright one and you'll see why you'll be able to switch it around because um, it'll all change as soon as we take a picture. So here I've drawn around myself, I have my face shape. And now if I wanna change the color, I'm gonna go to where it says fill. There's no fill right now, I'm gonna go to color fill and it's this green. Uh, what I want to do is I want to get this eyedropper tool. Now, this eyedropper tool is going to then, actually, let me get out of the eyedropper tool, close this. Uh, the eyedropper tool is really cool because what you can do is you can take a picture of anything, like any one color, and it's just going to find that pixel and adjust your shape to that color. So I'm going to pick my neck here. That's actually quite white. All right. And you can see sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Our parts of our bodies are very different colors and I'm gonna get rid of that line I'm not gonna have a border I hear some techniques to really help you out when you're drawing your shapes number one once you have that big shape set I like to lock it okay um, not wool lock it I first like to turn down the opacity because I want to see what's around there and then if you want you can lock it because when you lock it you can draw around and nothing's gonna happen but if you wanted to change any aspect about it you would have to unlock um, it depends what you want. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it unlocked and I'm gonna draw my face, my hair. So, hair, same thing. Just going ahead and start tracing around. Not so bad. I'm gonna go ahead and do my color fill and <laughs> Take my eyedropper and get a picture of that brown. If you feel like sometimes the eyedropper doesn't work really well, you can just always go to like a stock color right here. So I can start off with brown and then I can go darker. So I feel like it kind of matches my hair color. I'm gonna get rid of that line. All right, and then if I take a step out, let me pick up my face color here. Okay, so now we're getting a term of the opacity we're seeing here, okay. Um, the shape is starting to come together. Now, if you ever wanted to adjust, like refix a shape, right? Like it, you make it more editable, you can select it and just double click usually, or you can do control click and you see where it says make editable. You go there and I feel like here this line was like really sharp. So I just wanted to soften that here. Okay, so couldn't go out. Um, I do notice that I actually should draw an ear for myself, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now next. Okay, go ahead and put that there. 
And the good thing is, is that if you, if I needed to, if I needed to adjust what my hair looked like so it's closer to my hair, I can go ahead and just make editable and then grab these points here and just drag them in. So it works out. All right. Tuck that more into there. Um, I probably need to make sure that my hair here extends and frames my face. I don't want to have any of these gaps. We'll see why when we delete, because right now the picture is in the background. So, okay. All right. Now, if I wanted to see what my picture is looking like so far, I should turn down the opacity on this one. And now we see, all right, it's coming out pretty well. I don't have any gaps, have my ear, but I want to go ahead and do my neck as well and the lines on my face. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with that. Okay, so here I've curved my neck as much as I could, and it really, it doesn't need to be super curved. You can see my hair is going to be around it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color it. Um, I can take out, I can actually move this shape, and because I wanna get the eyedropper tool to color it a little bit of a shade darker than what my skin tone is. So I could naturally do this, and then, I think it already is kind of there, get rid of that line. And now when I bring it up, you're gonna be like, Ms. Gatch, like you did an awful job, doesn't work out, doesn't fit. It is okay because I need to move it to the back. So I'm gonna do a range and I'm just gonna keep moving it backwards, forwards, and then you see like, ah, okay. If I need to move it around, adjust, I can if I wanted to make it editable again and start working with my neck, I could totally do that as well. Or I could adjust my hair. So here it's just going little by little with how it works. Um, once again with the color if I wanted to make it more darker brown you can kind of see but usually your neck and your face you don't want to be the same exact color because you want to give that sense of a shadow all right okay so I'm just gonna do a little bit of a voiceover here while I'm finishing up my face I chose to not uh, do my eyes it was a little bit more difficult but you're gonna see here is that I'm drawing my mouth so when I do my mouth with my teeth you want to make sure that you get your lips done first as one entire shape and then you wanna go and work in your teeth. It doesn't have to be perfect, um, but it's just a way to get everything sorted. Then I am gonna go ahead, I drew my outfit and move it forward backwards. And pretty much this is kind of like my end product. I decided to do some eyebrows and I'm, there is a bit here where I think I tried to draw my nose and I just figured it wasn't gonna work out. But I hope you find that making a flat icon design of yourself in uh, pages is actually really easy and it's just a cool way to be creative. So I hope you find a bit of inspiration um, and decide which way you want to do it either with shapes or with the pen tool. And I can't wait to see what you produce. Good luck guys.